What's up guys, Cameron Corley here again. Keep the faith. Film Fridays, episode number two. So, before we get started, I just kind of wanted to reiterate that we know that every hunt isn't gonna be exactly like these hunts. Every hunt is unique and different and really what we just want to give you guys is a couple pieces of information, anything that you can put to use in your hunts. So um, we hope that we can help you guys. So let's get started for this week. So um, first things first, this hunt, it is a late archery deer hunt, um, northern New Mexico in January. And there's about a foot of snow on the ground. And so uh, let's get into the hunt here. So um, as always, you know, take a look at the topography. We got our glassing points, mesa tops here and here. We got a big sage flats down here in the bottom. We got a royal, a wash here, and it kind of peters out right here. Um, but you got another mesa top on this side. And for this hunt, we came into this area and we went to our glassing points. And in January, as you may know, um, northern Mexico, it's pretty cold, single digits at night um, in the temperatures. And um, in the mornings, bucks are going to be looking for sun, you know, to warm up. And so we came into this area from our glassing point, and we glassed up a giant typical from right here in the bottom. Just out in the middle of the sage flats, bedded down, just sunning. And he is out there just taking in the sun. And we're talking like a 190 inch typical here. A very, very good buck, a very smart buck. We knew he was going to be kind of hard to kill where he was at. And so looking at it, you know, we came to the conclusion that, you know, the best way maybe what we could do, um, this is two of us hunting. We both had tags. And what we came to the conclusion was that we're going to send one guy from the glassing point all the way around on top of him and come in on top of him right here. And coming from the top of this little point on the mesa, it was going to be about a 40 yard shot to that buck down the bottom. So we took that as our first best opportunity. Um, looking at it a little bit more, we knew these are rock cliffs right here and right here. And so we felt like what this buck was going to do more than likely was either going to go this way, this way, or this way straight away from us. And so we set the stock in plan and put it in motion. And I came around on top here and I got out here on the point and I was probably about 80 yards from the buck, somewhere around in here. And the buck winded me. Um, Something heard me snow crackling or something like that and he stood up Well before I took off dad, you know, we said, you know, this is probably going to be His easiest escape route is going to be right here um, Instead of instead of way out in the open, you know exposed He's going to want to hit the tree line hit the mesa and be gone and so we put dad right here on the escape route so dad's sitting on the top here right right at the bottom kind of and he's watching the whole deal go down so i come up i get 80 yards from the buck the buck gets up and he knew something was above him and so what that buck does and this is a main point that i kind of want you guys to get from this hunt is that this buck stood up and he ran directly he ran directly away from what he thought was danger above him he ran straight away to cover the most country to get as far as he could from what he thought was danger. So this buck runs straight away from what he thought was danger, which was me on top. And he went straight for the escape route to hit the tree line. You know, this buck, he was one cover and he was one that fast. And so the buck comes running across this, just the sage and goes straight to the little escape route between the two mesas here. And dad's sitting right here, and the buck runs along the hill here, gives dad a 50 yard shot with his bow, and dad draws back, the buck stops, dad lets his arrow loose, and he shoots right over the buck. So, this hunt 
was a learning experience for us. And we were unsuccessful in this hunt. But nonetheless, we gained some information from it. So the buck takes off. We don't get another shot. Um, I come down through the stage and get back to dad and we kind of recount what happened and you know what we really you know learn from this what we what we want you guys to learn um, is that if you got a big bedded buck on the middle of the stage and he feels like he's going to be getting danger from him on top he is going to want to cover as most country as he can and get as much distance as he can away from danger so more than likely he's going to run straight away from you um, in this hunt that's exactly what he did and he went straight for the a easy escape route to get to the cover the fastest so um yeah that was this hunt we were unsuccessful but you know nonetheless we learned a lot of things um, and we hope you guys can learn a lot of things from this hunt as well and thanks for tuning in again on this film Friday.